Is it that prayer of saying, let your will be done? You don't ever pray that prayer when you are not ready. That prayer is not for people who are in Dilulu land. When you are in denial about your situation and you say, let your will be done, my Jesus. Hey. I just got a reminder that I prayed this prayer one time. Baota Dilla Shela Yo Koluha Bolwe Lilis Shalungi Fundi Soboti Mayense Inta Doyak Ebazalani. Do you know that dangerous prayer? Nayas, it's eco coolly. Eya mintando ifani senale yako ah susagonke eu gwesaba ah my jesus my answer guys that is the most dangerous but effective prayer ever you must not be delusional when you pray that prayer because it will hit you very hard it needs you to know exactly what you are saying. Especially if the will of God might not be aligning with yours. Because a lot of us say that prayer when we are rangala. You know, we are behaving like spoiled brats. You know what, God, it's fine. Let your will be done. Yay, yeah, the will of God will be done. It will be from your mouth to God's ear. So if you're not ready to step out of your delulu land, don't even dare pray that prayer. But if you are ready to be liberated for the rest of your life, Pray that prayer. Because many of us never pray that prayer in the beginning when we enter situations. We never pray that prayer when we are seeing that things are not working out. We only pray it when we are tired and we're like, you know what, God, you know what, you know what? Let your will be done. One lesson you will learn from that prayer is that you should have prayed that prayer in the beginning. You should have prayed that prayer in the beginning. Let your will be done. Your life will never be the same again. Once you start praying for the will of God to be done on earth as it is in heaven, always let it be the will of God first before yours. You will learn to trust God in everything. You will learn to accept that will in everything, even though it's not favoring you. <laughs>